what is going on everyone? DSP here and welcome to the weekend preview for Sunday, June 26th, 2016. And I'm going to be honest here, straight up front with everyone. I've certainly felt better. I woke up this morning, <clears throat> okay, and I had had post-nasal drip in my throat all night. My entire throat was completely congested, so were my, si my sinuses. It took about an hour to get this cleared up. Over the course of my gameplay stream today, which is around three and a half hours of straight talking, because I played Persona 3 and had to read a ton, the right side of my throat proceeded to swell up inside of my throat and just become incredibly sore. I've been using cough drops all day long to try to get through the day. It's not a good situation, all right? <clears throat> now, we got a big week ahead of us. A big week. Two new games... A huge new expansion, a new character for Street Fighter V, and a big patron multiplayer event all scheduled. I'm going to get into the details about all of that in a moment. I'm hoping that I can shake this thing within a day. I'm hoping that this is just either nasal drip, bad things as in relation to maybe allergies, or I was just under the weather from being run down on Saturday, and this doesn't turn into a big overblown thing where I, I feel terrible for weeks. All right, Regardless, even if I feel terrible for weeks, I'm still going to be working. I need to. All right, But... That being said, uh, I need to take some time out to recover here to prepare for this week's new big releases, all right? So what that means is that pretty much tomorrow is shot. Um, uh, the good news is I had absolutely nothing planned for Monday whatsoever. It was actually an open day where I had no idea what I was going to be doing, and I was had it like up in the air purposefully, and then this happened today, and I was like, geez, I don't know how stuff, you know, works out, but somehow this has worked out perfectly so that now I don't feel good, but it's fine. I can actually just not do stuff on Monday, that is, especially regarding to talking, to try to rest my voice and feel better for the new releases on Tuesday, all right? <clears throat> so, that being said, that's the deal. I'm not going to be doing anything tomorrow, Monday, June 27th at all. I'm basically going to be doing stuff that I need to do around the house, sleeping a lot if I don't feel good. It all depends on how I end up feeling tomorrow, which I don't know. what. I could wake up and be fine. I could wake up and feel like shit. I have no idea what's going on. So we'll see what happens tomorrow and we'll go from there. Obviously, via social media, Twitter, I let everyone know what's going on. So if I'm like really bad off, I'll let everyone know. And if it's going to affect the rest of this week's schedule, I'll let you know there. But hopefully it won't. All right. Speaking of which, now let's get down to this week's schedule, all right? So first off, I just want to let everyone know, if you were a patron of mine in the month of May, if you pledged $5 or more, and you've been looking forward to this upcoming multiplayer event this coming weekend, I've created the rough schedule for it and posted it in the same thread on my kingofhate.com forums where everyone from May who was a patron had to post up their game they wanted to play and when they're available, all right? So it's now there. It's live on the forums. Please check it out. I need everyone who was involved with that to respond to it and let me know that you are in line and that you can participate because that's going to dictate what I do this Friday, Saturday, and a week from Friday. Those are going to be the three days where I'm going to be doing multiplayer with those patrons, okay? So please, if you were one of those people, check it out. If you were a patron in May and you did not post up at all, Sorry you didn't post up. I asked you now for two weeks to do so. You still have time if you haven't, okay? So if you were a patron in May and you wanted to be part of this multiplayer event you've just been totally out of it, go to the kingofhate.com forums. There's a thread right there in the patrons only section where you can post up and I need you to post up ASAP so that we can get your stuff in there and schedule you into the existing schedule, all right? Now, if you cannot participate at all in the times that I've dictated or whatever... Respond in that thread. Let me know. It's flexible. I'm going to try to adjust stuff around and make it work for everyone. That's the whole point. That's why I have three days completely dedicated to this event so that we can get everyone in. All right. So please, if you were a patron in May and you want to be in that event, check it out. All right. I know most people watching this video aren't, but I have to get that out there because it's very hard for me to talk directly to the right people. You know what I mean? Um, all right. So now let's talk about this week's schedule, and then we've got a final addendum about Patreon, the big Patreon goal this month, which is the Sonic the Hedgehog Marathon. Uh, I really have an alert about that at the end of this video, so if you're interested in hearing, geez, is it going to happen or whatever, please watch the very end of the week in preview, all right? Okay, this week's schedule, very interesting. Two new games, new release expansion for Street Fighter V, and we've also got uh, the, the marathon, the multiplayer marathon going on. So here's how it's going to happen. Tuesday, my very first gameplay stream is going to be the new game Inside from the makers of Limbo. Pretty cool. I liked that game Limbo a lot years and years ago. 
Um, and I've been waiting to hear from something from these guys for a long time. And so the new game is out. People have played it and said that it's great. I'm looking forward to it. That's going to be my gameplay stream, my main gameplay stream on Tuesday. Tuesday night, Leanna and I are actually going to start cooperative playthrough. Pretty cool. We haven't done it in a long time, right? Last year was last summer, the last one that we did. Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. In fact, the two of us are going to watch the movie either tonight or tomorrow night. I'm not sure yet. We're going to watch it one night in order to prepare to play this game. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, so that's going to start Tuesday night. So two streams on Tuesday, all right? Two gameplay streams. Wednesday is up in the air. The reason Wednesday is up in the air is because Capcom has not released the concrete data about when they're releasing their expansion for Street Fighter V this week. In fact, right now, there's a tournament going on. CEO 2016. Oh, during the finals of CEO, we'll announce what's going on this week. How about you just fucking announce it ahead of time so everyone knows what's going on, so we're not forced to watch the finals of a tournament we don't care about. Just because I bought Street Fighter V doesn't mean I care about every fucking tournament. I'm a little pissed about that, because they purposely are withholding information to hype their tournament and get people to watch it on stream instead of just fucking giving everyone the information. But I digress. Capcom is supposed to release Ibuki, the next DLC character for Street Fighter V, the cinematic story mode for Street Fighter V, and the store for Street Fighter V all this week. Great. I'm happy about that. Problem is, there's no date. Now, some days, if you look at the past expansions and things that they've had, sometimes it's on a Tuesday. Sometimes it's on a Thursday, sometimes it's earlier, sometimes it's later. It doesn't seem to be consistent when they release their updates for Street Fighter V. So, if it's all out on Wednesday, when I, by the time I get up and I'm ready to work, I'm ready to stream, I would love to jump in and for my first stream do the cinematic story mode, right? They say it's about two to three hours long, perfect for my first stream. And then my second stream, try out Ibuki in training mode, do her trials, right? Her little story, her mini story mode thing, and then jump online and play for like an hour or two with her. I'd love to do that. But I can't promise you that because I don't know if she's going to be out on Wednesday, okay? So the bottom line is, if all the new stuff for Street Fighter V is out on Wednesday by the time that I'm ready to stream, which as you know is around noon Pacific time, that will be my Wednesday, a whole day of Street Fighter V coverage. If not, well, if not, then sadly, unfortunately, uh, I'm going to just do another day of Inside on my first stream, more co-op with Leanna uh, later on in the day of Star Wars The Force Awakens, and that'll be the day, Okay. Then Thursday, in that case, will be my coverage of Street Fighter V, again, if it's available. And this is all highly dependent on Capcom actually putting stuff out like they say they're gonna and having it approved. And this is why they need to do it ahead of time instead of, oh, we'll wait till the tournament fucking finals to tell you they're a bunch of idiots. They still don't fucking get. They still don't get that appealing only to the hardcore tournament crowd isn't going to sell games. They still don't get that. They're months later after the game flopped, and they still don't get that. All right, so there's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for you in a nutshell. Friday, we're beginning the special multiplayer event, all right? Now, if the schedule stays as is, Friday around noon to 1230, I'm going to set up my first lobby of Overwatch on the PlayStation 4. It's going to be me with five other viewers and patrons playing online for about two hours or so. Then we're going to switch it up to another second lobby of people playing Overwatch with me. That will run for another 90 minutes to two hours or so. Then, Friday night is going to be Doom, okay? Now, this is all highly dependent on how smoothly it goes, how are the connections, does everything go fine? The way the schedule works is that it's going to be like a two-hour session, then a two-hour session, and then another two-hour session. There may be some breaks in between the sessions, all right? The patrons who were involved already, the schedule's live, so they're going to know all about it. Uh, when we get closer, I'll put up the specifics of the schedule, but that's the day on Friday. It's going to be Overwatch, Overwatch, Doom. Saturday is going to be a little bit more of a shorter event it's going to be uh, uh excuse me street fighter 5 and then rocket league so street fighter 5 lobby with viewers and then rocket league lobby with viewers okay and if everyone is able to attend the dates that i've set up that will be the multiplayer event it'll be a two-day event friday and saturday okay if there's some people who for whatever reason they can't make it something changes last minute they can't i have a makeup date which is scheduled for friday july 8th that day i'll also leave kind of wide open so if people could not attend this first event but they're a patron and they deserve to be in the event then i'll play with them on that friday all right but that's kind of how i'm roughly setting it up now oh excuse me you may say well i you know you didn't mention uncharted 4 you didn't mention plants vs zombies garden warfare 2 the bottom line is no one really wanted to play those games. I did put them up in the running. One person wanted to play each, and I'm like, I don't think we can really set up a lobby where it's just you and me. But those people also wanted to play other games where a lot more people wanted to play, so it all works out. Um, 
So yeah, you know, again, I have to emphasize if you're a patron for the month of May and you did not post up and you're not involved, you're not paying attention, you need to get me your information within the next few days or else you're not going to be in this event. All right. So that's Friday and Saturday, okay? Uh, Sunday and Monday, I'm going to be continuing on with all of the new games. So I'm sure within two sessions, I probably won't have beaten this game inside. I certainly will not have gotten through all the co-op of LEGO The Star Wars The Force Awakens. Chances are, I may want to do more Street Fighter V because I'll get the bug back after playing with Ibuki in the story mode and then playing against fans on Saturday. Maybe I'll want to do more Street Fighter V. So that whole next week of July, all right, that whole week of the 4th to the 8th or whatever there, is going to be me focusing in on all the stuff I didn't finish this coming week, kind of spilling over into that week. And obviously, I'll have way more details of the specifics of that next weekend once we've gotten through this weekend. We see everything. All right. Keep in mind, I'm going to stay with my consistent schedule of doing reviews and first impressions and stuff like that. So, for example, once I beat Inside or once we beat LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens and I want to do a review on them, I'm going to do a review for KO Gaming, all right? But I need to get through the games first, so it might not be right away. So this may be a week here where there's no new content for KO Gaming, but that's perfectly okay because then if I go to the next week, you know, or on the flip side of that, once I play through the story mode of Street Fighter V, which everyone's been anticipating the story mode because they've been promising it since the launch of the game in February, maybe I'll do a short video for KO Gaming on my impressions on the story mode of Street Fighter V now that it's released. Something like that. So there may be a little bit of content for KO Gaming in the next week, but it won't be a lot, okay? Um, so that's the deal, all right? Now, as we move further into July, we're going to get into that first full week of July, all right? Um, what's going to end up happening is we're going to get through into all these new games. Eventually, the new games are going to run out, right? I'm going to finish up on Inside. I'm going to finish with Lego, Star Wars, and I'll get all, you know, tired of all that. I'm going to focus on playing Persona 3 during the month of July, and I'm going to try to do a few downtime things. Now, it's up in the air what these downtime things are. I'm not sure yet. There's a few things in mind. Let me give you some examples of things that I've been thinking of. Um, for years, right, people have told me to go back and play this game or that game, and things that have just come up recently. Some folks say, why don't you play God of War 2 Remastered? Because you never played that. And they just announced the new God of War E3. It could be a pertinent time to play a God of War game. Uh, some people have said, why don't you go back and play Knights of the Old Republic, which you now have on the Xbox. All right. Uh, and you just sat on it for like a year and a half and haven't played it. Will you ever play that? Maybe. The reason I'm apprehensive about that is because I need to get through Persona 3 before I think of any other RPG. Case in point, another game people are asking for me to play. Why don't you play Star Ocean? Star Ocean's coming out the end of June. I've heard it's a great RPG. I cannot do another RPG until I finish Persona 3. There's no way I can support a gameplay business on two RPGs. People don't come out for RPGs. Even when they're brand new, people don't come out for RPGs. So I need to really, honestly... Uh, you know, have an RPG as a supplemental thing balanced out with something else that people will tune in for, all right? Some other things. Horror games. I actually have one or two Silent Hill games that they're not the main series, but they're spin-off games that I've never played. I would consider playing something like that during the summer. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of candidates. Seriously, there's a lot of candidates for games that I would consider playing. And I'm sure people now are going to start nominating. I'd like to see Phil play this and this and this. That's cool. You can post it up in the comments here. I would actually appreciate it if you made a thread on the forums that said, you know, July summer downtime, games for Phil to play. I know a lot of people said, why don't you go back to Undertale and do a full genocide run? Because I really wanted to do that back in February, but I didn't have the chance to do it. All great candidates, all right? So we'll see. But that's going to basically be all mid-July is going to be downtime stuff, okay? And then finally in late July, there's the chance for a few new things. I believe there's a game called Banner Saga 2. Everyone told me it when Banner Saga 1 came out to play it. And I have no idea what the game is, and I pay no attention to it. And now Banner Saga 2 apparently is coming out in late July. And also Batman Return to Arkham, the remaster of the original, you know, the Batman games like Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum and uh, Arkham City are coming out. I'll be honest, I'm not really interested in Arkham City, but I haven't played Arkham Asylum since I played it the very first time. That I would maybe be interested in replaying. So that's what I'm considering, all right? So maybe in late July, we'll have a little bit of a pickup with newer stuff, but really, mid to late July, there's nothing. There's nothing going on. It's going to be very dead, okay? So I need to try to figure out what can I do to really occupy people and hook them during the summer months. Uh, one thing I am thinking of doing during July is countdowns for KO Gaming. So if there's no new releases, right? Well, 
every night, what I could do is take some time out and I could do kind of like the top 10 best villains of the last console gen or, you know, the top 10, my, my top 10 uh, funniest, uh, not funniest moments, but maybe, you know, the most evil things or most gruesome scenes from gameplay that I've done on YouTube, that kind of stuff. I could actually draw upon all the things that I've done over the years, right? I really start to dig deep at the different playthroughs that I've done. And say, man, what ones were synonymous with this or this? What were the biggest villains? What were the wimpiest villains? And I could make countdowns like that using all of my, my gameplay over the years for KO Gaming. And that could be fun summer countdowns for you during the downtime until new games come out. Because in, in August, just to give you some perspective, No Man's Sky, King of Fighters 14, the new Deus Ex game. I always forget what the, 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 the secondary title of that one is. But the new Deus Ex, there's an Attack on Titan game. At some point, this game, We Happy Few, is supposed to come out. But it's uncertain whether it's coming out in late July or actually August or whatever but all those stuff things are coming out and that I think August is going to be fine but we have to get to August that's the thing so we'll see we'll see what happens but please give me your ideas for games that I can play during July when there's downtime all right all right last but not least because now my voice is really strained <sighs> last but not least Patreon all right four days left in June here's the Patreon link right there see it I want to do this upcoming, this great idea, right? The Sonic Marathon. If we hit the funding goal for the month of June, and uh, you know, people who pledge five dollars or more this month are going to be voting on: Do you want to see a Sonic one through three marathon classics? Do you want to see a Sonic Adventure marathon, or do you want to see me play Sonic 06 in a marathon setting? I know you want to see me get tortured. I know how bad the game is because I played it myself. Um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's a pretty different thing where it's three completely different styles of marathon that could happen depending on the patron votes. But right now, we are not hitting the goal. In fact, I've been kind of advertising this for a week straight now, and we haven't seen any movement. Like, the goal has not... We've been under by about 150 bucks, roughly, for the goal for the past week and a half. And what I've seen is even though a few people pledged, a bunch of people from last month lowered their pledges... And now we're still around, I think we're over 100 I haven't checked as of this morning. I'm pretty sure we're about $120, $130 away from the goal. We're almost out of time. And, I mean, I'm only, I'm not trying to be an alarmist, all right? But I know how this works. The last few days of the month, more people will realize, oh, man, I had a bigger pledge last month because I wanted to be in Phil's multiplayer event or whatever. And they're going to lower their pledges, and you're going to see the total is going to go even lower, all right? So this is it. This is the last chance. Now, I've hit the funding goal every single month. Since February 2015 when I started on Patreon. This is probably the most in jeopardy it's ever been. Because there's only four days left and we're over $100 away. So if you want to get in, you want to see me play these Sonics. You want to vote on it. You want to be a part of it. You want right have the control over what I'm going to be doing in this event. You want to see something really fun and unique happen. Because I think this would be a really awesome event. You got to pledge. All right. Now keep in mind, it's not like I raised... The funding goal, this is the same funding goal I've had since I started on Patreon. But I'm not going to do this event unless we hit it or else there's no motivation for people to pledge. So please, if you have not, if you're considering doing it, check it out. Patreon.com forward slash DarkSideFill. Four days left for June. You must pledge by the end of June if you want to be in on this event and you want to make it happen. I hope we hit it. It will be the first time ever we didn't. But it is what it is. I got to stick to my guns on this. Okay, guys? All right, that's it. Now my, my throat is now super... Shot. I'm probably not even going to talk again for the rest of the night, seriously. And you, tomorrow, if I can avoid it, I'll be whispering to Leanna all day. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with it. Thank you to the following May patrons who made this upcoming multiplayer event later this week a successful event. And, you know, the reason that's going to happen. And uh, that is it from me. Please, if you're a May patron, check out the forums. I'm looking forward to all the new games this week, the Street Fighter V coverage, the multiplayer. I hope you are, too. Thank you, by the way, for another great month. As of today, I checked my results for June. Another great freaking month financially and everything. The business is doing well, so I can't complain. Thank you, everyone. Now I just need my health to get better so we can keep on a roll. All right? That's it, everyone. Thanks a lot. See you for new stuff this week. I'm taking tomorrow off, but I'll see you Tuesday. Peace out.